Okay, today we're going to be making a, a ghost card, Halloween card, using uh, the Halloween stamp set from Sensational Stamps. Welcome to this quickie with Lisa. So what I'm doing right now is I'm shading this ghost to give him a little dimension. So I'm using Sage Pale Prismacolor Pencil, colored pencil. Really like how they color. And so when I'm done, it gives him a nice little dimension. Then I'm going to take my black. And I'm going to fill in the eyes and the mouth. And you notice the nice thing about this stamp set is it comes with five different faces and it also comes with this cute little uh, pumpkin. Actually a couple different pumpkins. So you get to make uh, different things with it. So I'm just going to fill in the eyes on this one. So you can stamp different faces on the pumpkins and on the ghost. As you see, I used three of them. Alright, let's shed this one. I chose the green because I thought the, uh, you know, since ghosts are dead, I thought the green was an appropriate color. This is such a cute stamp set, being you get so many different pieces with it, and then you get sayings with it too. Like, uh, Happy Halloween. I'll post a picture of the stamp set so that you can see it in the, at the end of this video. thing I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to put one of these ghosts on an action wobble so whoever you're going to get the card to will be able to have a cute little action on it. And I think we're going to use green for his eyes. See, look at how cute those ghosts look now that they're all done. And see that shading really gives it a little 3D look to it. So the next thing we're going to do is I have a four and a, I have a four and a half by I want to say or a four yeah four and a half by six and a half cardstock base. If I'm wrong on that, I will certainly put that in the as a correction. And then I took and cut a half inch off of each of this piece on each side. So we're going to run some tape there. Oh, but before we lay that down, we're going to want to go ahead and put in our pretty ribbon. I found this ribbon and it happens to match exactly, so I thought that was so cute. So 
So here's the top of the card. So let's put this on here now. Actually what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and lay this down like this. Try to put it straight. Nope, not straight. So let's see if we can get this straighter. Being very careful when I lift it up. So, oops. Yeah. Okay. So now we can just take a little bit here, run it a little bit there on the back side, and cut it off. Do same thing on the other side. Okay, now we're ready to lay this down, this piece down on the mat, card stock base, I mean. See, and that looks really cute that way. Then I took a, I had a, a circle scallop uh, card. So what I did, I traced around this black starry paper, and I thought it was perfect as a background for behind the ghost. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run some tape on here. All right, since my runner stopped working, I'm just going to use some of these zots on there. Isn't that the way when you're trying to do something and all it stops working on you? So I'm just going to put some of these along here. And these dots are the large size, they're not the pop-up ones, 3D ones. I have some of those that I use all the time for the 3D look. But I don't need that for this particular movie or card. Alright, so what we're going to do is going to lay it right. So it's centered. Okay. Now what we're going to do is... Another thing I'm going to add to the card real quick before we add the ghost is... I'm going to use the zots to attach um, buttons in the corner. Just for a little more dimension. I really like how it looks. I shift that one down a little bit to match that other one. Now don't those buttons give it a nice dimension along with the ribbon? Okay, now it's time to attach the uh, go sun and I, I actually was going you know what I forgot to color the nose of this guy all right that's better now isn't it okay so what we're going to do is we're going to lay these out. I think I'm going to have, I don't know which guy I should have up front. I think that one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take some pop, some zots and put it on the back of this ghost. Okay, so what I'm going to do is lay this one right here. Okay, do the same thing with this other ghost. Okay, let's put you know, matching up here. Now, the last ghost, I told you we were going to actually put that one on a action wobble. And here's what an action wobble looks like. So what you do is you peel off the back. OK. 
okay. Then you peel the part that goes along to the ghost, next to the ghost. So it would look something like this. We want to make sure we want to make sure we put it so you can't see the action wobble behind it. And see there. Okay. So then what we do is we lay this guy down just like that and center it. See, and you got a cute little action wobble. But I think somehow I'd like to move these in if I can do this without ripping them. Okay. So what I'm going to do is actually move these guys in a little bit. So let's hope this one comes up as cleanly. Or otherwise that other one's going to have to go back. Okay. There. So, actually I'm going to stick one more zot under here because it seems to want to stick up. So when you're done, you have this cute little Halloween card. And you can go ahead and stamp a sentiment in it. Uh, the stamp set comes with three different sentiments, I believe, in it. So you can choose which one you want to use. I'll probably add a sentiment later. Thanks for stopping by. And if you love this video and would like to see more, um, check out uh, our channel and subscribe to it. Too much wine for Thursday night. It's only six o'clock. Too early to be kissing outside. It's hard to fight it though.